Obama administration officials FBI and CNN coordinated to set up Donald Trump image SHTF by Mac SLA via The tables are turning and the tides have most definitely shifted in favor of President Donald Trump. Now new evidence is revealing that top Obama administration officials coordinated with each other and the FBI to help CNN run a damaging and unverified story on Trump and the infamous salacious dossier. The mainstream media won't touch this story with a 10-foot pole because it not only shows the unsurprising amounts of actual lies and fake news they put out daily, but it also details how CNN was used to run damaging stories at the behest of the Obama administration. The Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs released new emails on Monday night that allegedly show that Obama Administration officials coordinated with each other to help CNN run a damaging story on President-elect Donald Trump based on salacious and unverified information contained in a politically motivated dossier financed by Trump's political enemies, Hillary Clinton and the DNC. According to the Daily Wire, the emails, which were obtained by Senator Ron Johnson, RY, show that the Obama-era administration officials used coded language to refer to the Steele dossier. The following timeline of events and communications were in the committee's letter. 1. January 6, 2017, 9.44 a.m. FBI Chief of Staff Jim sent an email to unspecified recipients stating, The director is coming into HQ briefly now for an update from the Sensitive Matter team. 2. January 6, 2017, afternoon, Director Comey met with President-elect Trump. 3 January 7, 2017, Director Comey memorialized his discussion with President-elect Trump via an email to senior FBI leadership. Director Comey wrote, I said there was something that Clapper wanted me to speak to P. President-elect about alone or in a very small group. Director Comey wrote, I then executed the sessions exactly as I had planned, and, I said media like CNN had them and were looking for a news hook. 4. January 8, 2017, 12.08 p.m. Then FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe sent an email to senior FBI leadership with the subject line, Flood is coming. Mr. McCabe wrote, CNN is close to going forward with a sensitive story. The trigger for them, CNN, is they know the material was discussed in the brief and presented in an attachment, 5. January 8, 2017, 12.55 p.m. Mr. McCabe emailed then Deputy Attorney General Sally Yates and then Principal Deputy Attorney General Matthew Axelrod with the subject line, News, Mr. McCabe wrote, Just an FYI, and as expected, it seems CNN is close to running a story about the sensitive reporting. Senator Ron Johnson letter to the FBI regarding Steele Dusia. Explosive new emails show FBI brass discussed dossier briefing details with CNN. FBI has a hell of a lot of explaining to do. https colon slash slash t dot co slash sold seven geese pig dot twitter dot com slash quext five gm gs nick short united states at political short may twenty second twenty eighteen two days later on january tenth twenty seventeen cnn ran the fake and unverified news story about the salacious steel dossier that was quickly followed by buzzfeed publishing the dossier within a couple hours of cnn's report James Clapper prompted Comey to meet with Trump to inform him of the dossier and the subsequent leaks to CNN which ignited much of the Russia hysteria that still dominates the mainstream media's official narrative today. After the media hysteria began, Comey refused to acknowledge what he had told Trump in private multiple times, that he was not under investigation. Comey's refusal to tell the public that Trump was not under investigation is actually what led to Trump firing him, according to the Federalist. Comey's firing lead to him leaking multiple memos in order to get a special counsel appointed out of revenge. That special counsel has utterly distracted multiple agencies and embroiled all three branches of government at the highest levels. All over a document that was secretly funded by Hillary Clinton and the DNC, contracted by a Democrat research firm with ties to the Kremlin, and authored by a shady foreign spy whose relationship with the FBI was terminated because he lied to them. The Federalist The Daily Wire reported in April that the assertion that Comey's decision to leak the memos, some of which contained classified information, out of revenge appears to have some factual basis. Comey even told NBC's Savannah Guthrie that he had an obvious bias against Trump because he fired me. 
the FBI has a lot of explaining to do. And don't forget, James Comey actually said the deep state doesn't exist before going on to describe the deep state in perfect fashion. From Mac MacSLAVOGPlan.com God bless. Dean James the third percent right wing tribune be sure to follow us on Nation in Distress and America's Freedom Fighters on Facebook.